I, I took a different angle, I guess, because of the fact that I'm a teacher and a Dalit graduate. So I really want to talk about two aspects of the study that I found interesting. Should I turn this? One being um, the question at the beginning about what community we come from and how that affects our decision to teach in Jewish day schools. Because I actually, after thinking about that just yesterday deeply, I, I realized it really does matter. And it's a really, it could actually really help Jewish day schools if they considered that op that, that reason. And the second thing is, is really about what schools can do and what an in administration can do to help Jewish day, schools, Jewish day school teachers stay, um, which I do believe actually is different in Canada. Oh, I'll speak louder. I believe it's different in Canada than it is in America. So I actually come here with both of those perspectives. I've only been here for a few months, but I, I have seen some of the Canadian Jewish day schools as well. Um, so first of all, growing up and, and the communities we've come from. I know that for me and my cohort, we came from, we all came from very tight Jewish communities. All of us went to summer camp. All of us went to Israel. All of us really felt connected to our communities. Some of us were more religious than others. I think my cohort was interesting. We had some Baal Tshuva, we had some modern Orthodox, and we had, I guess, a more majority of secular, maybe conservative, in, in the study, it says mostly, I think it says conservative and reform is the highest. So I guess we had that in our cohort. And for me, I always wanted to be a professional camp counselor, but I was told you couldn't make a lot of money doing that. So my parents suggested maybe education. And then I said, no, no, no. <laughs> so maybe you can tell me later, so we can talk. Uh, so I, in the end, I, I actually did not want to go into education. I did not want to just... I said to myself, just teach. I wanted to do something more. But I, fortunately, living in like a small city in Western Canada, came across the Dalit advertisement. I don't know how I found it. I met one other Canadian who had done it before and signed up. And it was when we talk about decisions and where life takes you because of these decisions, it was definitely the best decision I've made. And uh, the community, I think, I, the fact that I grew up in such a tight community, that I was so involved in summer camp, that I was so involved in BBYO and informal Jewish education, made me want to teach in a Jewish I didn't really want to teach Judaic subjects. I didn't feel super confident about my Hebrew, though I taught in supplementary schools. I love teaching about Jewish holidays, but, you know, a Judaic studies teacher needs to teach Torah and like Tfilah and all these things that I didn't feel like I was capable of doing, but still I wanted to be in a Jewish setting. Because to me, teaching and educating, true education, comes from yourself and within. And it's a passionate career. You have to walk the talk, walk the talk, or talk the walk. You, that's it. <laughs> you have to really be the, the pa more passionate you are, the, the, the better you're, you know, the more successful you will be as a teacher. And kids see that. So I felt that because I, I just, everywhere I went, I happened to just be educating kids in a Jewish environment, that Jewish day schools just made sense. With that in mind, with the fact that so many of us wanted to be in a Jewish setting because of our communities, because of our passion, but didn't necessarily want to teach Judaics because of that dichotomy, I think that Delit really, it, it, it spoke to us and it helped us do that. And in terms of Jewish day schools, the more Jewish day schools appreciate the fact that the teachers are looking for a community, I think the more they will succeed at retaining teachers. I'll say that again more clearly. That I think that being a part of a school that's also part of your community, being a part of a Jewish day school is much more, in my opinion, not necessarily my experience, than being a part of a different kind of school. It's, it's so much of who you are. You give so much of who you are to that job and to that community that you want to get from that. And it's not just a salary. It's not just a paycheck. The people that stay are the people that are getting so much more than that. Really? So, so, it's about, so I, do, I do believe that, uh, that the more school can embrace a teacher and create, help them feel as a part of a community, the better, the more successful the school will be at retaining teachers. And I can also talk from experience. I did work in a school that provided me with that when I was in Boston, when I started my Dalit career and then was later hired to be a teacher there. And I felt I didn't have a synagogue when I lived in Boston. I didn't need one. I was part of the congregation and the community of my day school. My colleagues were my family. We supported each other in sadness and happiness. And that made me want to be a part of that school. 
It wasn't the paycheck. And people do leave because they know that they can get maybe more money. But a story that I guess I can share in the last minute that I have is of a teacher who told me that she just wanted to leave and go to public school because of the money, because it was so hard to be accepting what, you know, the, what she had in terms of a salary. Two or three years later, we talked about it again. She's like, I'm never leaving. And I said, why? And she said, this school respects my personal life and the needs I've had in my personal life. They respect me as a person. I'm a part of this community. And to her, it was better than any salary she could receive elsewhere. So I think the administration at the school that she was at, the school that I was at, really, it really saw you as a person and it gave you what you needed. And I know now when I, when I look at different schools in Canada, I'm picky. I, and I'm picky for a reason because I, I've seen what a, an administration that understands where you came from, that understands the values you were taught, I can see how that increases your potential as a teacher. I was very fortunate to work in a school that loved what Dellett stood for and loved the standards that Dellett taught and worked to create the same standards within the school. I felt almost ahead of the other teachers that were the mentors because they were learning from us. And the whole school culture was about that. It was about let's ha how can we as veteran teachers learn from these younger teachers because they're getting up-to-date information and they're bringing in new fresh ideas. And the fact that the administration stood behind us that way, it created a, an amazingly positive culture in the school. And it's something that, that I now always look for and, and expect and want. And I can tell you that from Delic graduates who, who aren't finding that, and this is something I think impressive or that speaks to Delic, they just want to open their own schools. And there are many with that kind of energy. So.